interested in animal skulls. And when I was younger, I was walking through the woods, and I remember stumbling upon a skull, and I had no idea what it was. I brought it home, my mom and I looked through a book, and we found out that it was a fox skull. And I'm going to tell you guys today how I determined that it was a fox skull. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful day outside. It is. Nice walk in the woods. I wonder if we'll find anything today. You know, there's always a chance that we'll find something. <sighs> Let's see if we can find something. Yes. All right, come on, Serena. All right, awesome. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. It looks like a skull. I think it is. Oh man, what is it? Oh, uh, I don't know. See if we can figure this out. Okay, so the eyes are on the sides of the head, right? So these are the eyes? Yeah, yeah, those are the orbits. So that must mean it's a prey species because it has to have better peripheral vision, so it needs to be able to see like predators sneaking up on so it. So, like, having eyes like this. Exactly, yeah. All right, so then what else? Let's look at the teeth. All right. Ooh, they're so weirdly shaped. Yeah, they're kind of flat, so that must mean that they, um, they were more for grinding, mm -hmm. like the molars and the premolars are more flat. Yeah, there's no sharp teeth though. Right, no canines. Good. Yeah, that's a really good observation. There's no canines, and the incisors are really tiny. Mm. So that must mean it's an herbivore, because it has no canine teeth. And then, all right, and then you want to know if it had two legs or four? How, how can you tell that from a skull? Okay, so it's really cool. This is the foramen magnum, ah. and it's where the spine meets the skull. And so if you simply place your finger in it, you can see that it was more horizontal, oh. right? Instead of like us, which is, we walk which like this. Yeah, so this animal had to have four legs. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if it was found around here, maybe it lived around here too. What could yeah. it possibly be? I think it might be a deer. A deer? Ah, oh, deer are so awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, uh, okay, so there are these deer that live outside my apartment and they got these like nice long legs to kind of like go on forever. They only got two toes. I'm like, how can you stand on two toes? Oh, well, then you, then you watch them run and you realize that it makes them really fast. They have these long legs that keep going and they have this huge stride. They're really, really cool and very graceful. Awesome. Yeah. That's really neat. We just found a deer skull. Oh yeah. So cool. <laughs> Let's put it back for now. Let somebody else find it. Exactly. Oh my gosh, another one. Oh my gosh. We stumbled upon a green Ew, bird. It has huge yellow teeth. Gross. <laughs> oh wow. What? Look at the incisors that? on this thing. Oh my god, they're like two inches long. Yeah. Let's look at the teeth again. All right, so these are really flat. So it must have been a herbivore. Whoa. All right, because really flat teeth, really sharp incisors, no canines. It's a pretty big skull, too. Look at that. I mean, okay, so something that has really long front teeth. What kind of things have really long front teeth? Hmm. Well, rodents. Rodents definitely do. So I don't think this is a, a huge rodent. Yeah, I don't think this is a mouse. That, that would be <laughs> that doesn't big. <laughs> Oh, what else can we learn about it, though? All right. Well, the eyes. The eyes are on the top of the head. Yeah. Oh, weird. That's definitely different than the other before we looked at right, the deer. Right. Right. And it's, it, but it's still not in the complete in the front of the skull. Yeah. So it's still a prey species. And look at the form and magnum. So that's the hole in the back of the skull. So if you stick your finger in it. It has room for bending. Ooh. So that's different. Hmm. Huh. So. Okay, well, if it's this large, this thing, things that are rodents that are very large that could possibly live in this area. Definitely not a rat or a mouse. Too Definitely not a rat. rabbit. What about a beaver? Beaver? That would fit. Eyes on the top of the head, right? Do yeah. You see when it's swimming? The teeth keep growing. The keep, teeth keep growing. It's got a cut down trees of those things. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And beavers are also swim, which would make sense with the eyes on the top of the head so that right. they can see right. when they're underwater. And they also have like these feet that have like webbing in between them so that they can push, right? Cool. Yeah, and long flat tails so they can propel themselves through the water. Those are really awesome. That's awesome. And one of the few swimming mammals. That's yeah. Really cool. <laughs> that is neat.
getting so many skulls. This I is know. so cool. What? Speak of the devil. Wow, there's <laughs> another one. Oh my god, is this like an animal graveyard or something? I think it is. This is so oh, neat. This one's, oh, this one's really different. Yeah, it is. Ooh, look at those teeth, man. They're huge. And pointy. We got, we got something new here. Yeah. This is really, this is large skull. Jeez. All right, so it has really sharp canines. Whoa. It has really sharp molars, too. Ooh, yeah. This is cool. So it has to be a carnivore. So it has huge canines. All right. <laughs> so. What else do we know about it? Well, it's got pointy teeth, so it's a carnivore, but eyes would be here. Oh, wow, the eyes are in the front this time. Yeah. It's definitely different. So it's definitely got to be a predator yeah of some sort yep definitely a predator and let's see where the whole firm and magnum is all right it says four legs Ooh. so okay. a predator with four legs and eyes in the front that eats meat that eat that eats meat hmm. it's rather big too yeah i'm trying to think of anything around here that would be that big I mean, fox isn't that big. No, fox but is smaller. Would coyote be that big? Coyote's smaller too. Well, I mean, the only thing that's related to that would be a wolf, but they're not around here anymore. Maybe this is a really old skull. I think it could be a really old skull. That's really, really cool. Because wolves were around here. That's true. They Their uh, range did come all the way out here. Yeah. This is really neat. Uh, yeah, and wolves also do a lot of running. They can go for days just doing this little loop because they have, like the deer, they have long legs, mm -hmm. but instead of just two toes, they have five toes. They plant their foot down like this. Right. And so it really d distributes their weight a lot so they don't get tired as easily. So they can go for hours and hours of running without cool. getting tired. Yeah. That probably helps them with hunting, too. Oh, yeah. And their feet <laughs> also let them switch directions really quickly. Because when you put your feet down, you can kind of, like, push off of one edge. Deer right. can't do that. Deer's only got two, two little toes <laughs> to push off of. He can't do that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, wolves are so awesome. This is a huge skull. Dude, it looks what does it look like? It's got a really flat face. It does. Not like the dog at all. No. But it's got those pointy teeth, those really long pointy teeth. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, the canines. Really large. And, and the, the eyes are in the front. The eyes are in the front. It's got a huge nose. Yeah. What about that little thing? And what about that thing in the back? What's it called again? Foramen magnum. Foramen magnum, that hole. So. So it goes. Horizontally. Ends. Okay, so it four has legs. four legs. It's got a short face and pointy teeth. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of looks like my house cat, but my house cat is not yeah. this big. Okay, all right. Well, let's see. Maybe it's related to a, a house cat. What's related to a house cat that lives around here? We've got things like mountain lions. Mountain lions. Yeah, those are huge. They're those like are the size really of big. dogs. I think this is a mountain lion. Oh yeah. It's insane. Yeah, and mountain lions and wolves have a lot of similar features with their legs and stuff because they both have five toes. Right. And they kind of run the same. But mountain lions have a lot more power in them versus wolves which have a lot more uh, agility and stuff. It's right. Really cool. Neat.
Victoria, look, there's another oh one. Oh my god, another one. Oh, cool. Oh wow. So this is this is similar but different. Ew, look See? Alright, so it has canines. Alright, so it's gotta eat meat, right? Possibly. Well, yes, it will eat meat because canines are used to pierce and hold the prey. Okay. But let's look more. Oh, oh these wow. teeth aren't sharp like that. No, the they're not. The molars aren't sharp at all. They're more flat. Oh, well, how is that possible? How can it have sharp teeth in the front and flat ones in the back? It's an omnivore. What does that mean? Okay, so omnivores eat both meat and plants. Oh. So they're going to have a combination of teeth. You mean like us? Because I eat meat and plants. Yeah. Oh, so like. Like these are really small canines? Yeah. <laughs> Our canines have like receded. <laughs> but yeah, so they have all four types of teeth. They still have the incisors, the canines, the premolars, and the molars. But these are a lot more flat compared to like what we saw with the coyote. Where everything is sharp. So this is really cool. So this is an omnivore. Cool. Our first omnivore we found. This is neat. Okay. Alright, and eyes. Which one's, where are the eyes? Eyes oh. are right here. So the, that's in the front, right? Yeah, kind of on the front and then the side. And kind of like on the top, too. Yeah, and it has a longer nose. It has a decent sense of smell. Hmm. And then, whoa, the foramen magnum is actually like more angled. Oh, so it's not, it doesn't just walk on four legs? Possibly. It must have some variation in the way it walks. Okay, so it eats both meat and plants, eyes in the front. It needs to have flexibility. And flexibility. Something that would be really important for flexibility would be moving around from the ground to trees, right? Yeah, that would work. That would be really important for that. So it moves from ground to trees and eats meat and plants. Let's see. Possum? Could be a possum. I think it's a possum. That would make, that would seems to make a lot of sense. And possums are really cool because they climb things. I mean, come Yeah. On. And the possum has more, like, if you look at the skull, it just looks more, can't you just envision a possum? Oh yeah, I see the possum. <laughs> I think it's a possum. So it's on the ground and in the trees, which means it needs to be able to climb up the trees, right? Right. And possums have, like, claws on their hands, right? So they can yeah. grip the branches. They also have a really long tail, which helps them to balance when they're climbing up the trees. But they don't hang from them, right? Really? I thought they did. Nope, that's an old wives' tale. It Ew, is not okay. true. It's not strong enough to hold them up. Gotcha. So that makes they, sense. But they use it to help them balance so they don't fall out of the trees. Right. But Yeah, and cool. they're also on the smaller side. You can see their skull is much smaller than anything else we've seen. Yeah, but so, still pretty big. Yeah, big in comparison big. to like a mouse. Yeah. That should be tiny. The mouse is really small. So nice out. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Is it? Oh, that I was... I think so. I think we've hit the jackpot today. I really think so. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, that is a this huge is, skull. It is. Whoa. I'm going to break it. Wow. Whoa, look at the size of those teeth. Those are huge canines. Those are huge canines. Feel them. They're really smooth, too. Ooh, wow. That's awesome. And it's kind of a shorter face, too, right? Oh, those teeth are flat in the back, man. All right, so it has carn the canine teeth, and it has, and it has flat, flat molars. Teeth. That means it eats both meat and plants, right? Right, omnivore. Okay. Omnivore. This is a big omnivore. That is a very big omnivore. OK. What is that? Big. It eats both meat and plants. And the eyes are kind of in the and front. The eyes of the are head. in the front, which means it hunts. Right. It has to have at least good vision. Good binocular vision. Okay. Well, what about what, what that hole in the back? The foramen magnum. Oh no. Yeah. It's a little Hard broken. to tell on that one. Hmm. Oh well. Well, we can still be able to tell what it is. Yeah, though. of course. 
something this big that eats both plants and animals and eyes in the front of the head. That's no wolf or coyote. No, so, those are carnivores. Something else. But they're like, aren't there like bears that live around here? There are bears. What kind of bears live around here? Black bears, right? Is it only black bears? Yeah. Oh yeah, because grizzlies are too big. Yeah, they're, grizzlies they don't live are really here. big. So and it's not a polar bear. Definitely not a polar bear. No. Okay. All right, so it's a black bear. Oh man, that's so cool. Black bears hunt by running too, I think, but they're not quite as graceful as wolves. Right. They uh, their legs are a little bit shorter, and they have huge hands. Yeah. Like their hands are like the size of like my face at least. Well, yeah. Maybe bigger than my face. Maybe my whole skull. <laughs> like just huge hands, and that helps them to carry their weight around. Right. They're huge. Right.